So firstly, Ash, welcome to the Frio family. How are you feeling? Thank you. Um, yeah, just so excited to get home and um, yeah, be able to wear the purple. I felt um, once after the trade, I thought it was going to be really quick and easy, but then um, not finding out that it was happening until the last couple of minutes. The nerves were definitely, um, I was a bit freaked out at that point because, you know, I was just yeah ready to get home and um, let my kids have some cousin and grandparent time. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what were the feelings for the whole family when you found out the trade went through? Yeah, everyone was super excited. Um, we put we actually put Louis under a table and turned it into a tent because he was being <laughs> super loud. So we were like, mate, you've got to stay in there until mum finds out what team she's playing for next year. And um, and then, yeah, he was yeah super excited. We've to- He thinks he's a pirate at the moment. So we've told him that Frio is like retro jumpers got the anchor on it. And so he he's wrapped to find a retro jumper and wear an anchor on his shirt that's for sure how good I think we saw a bit of a glimpse um in that video the other day as well that was awesome yes. <laughs> um so we know you're kind of in and out of reception right now traveling um from originally from Melbourne now making your way over to Perth um uh, with the fam can you tell us a bit about this um and any highlights so far oh yeah it's been like for me it's been something I've always wanted to do originally when I moved to WA Um, I had a Kia Rio and I was like I just wanted to drive it across the country and my dad was like no way Um, and so it's always been a dream of mine to travel Australia and um, it just so happens now I've got the family so we bought the caravan um, we're headed home it's my first off season in five years so using the off season um, as best as I can but now for us it's just I love the ocean Um, we didn't get that at all in Melbourne so we're currently just beach hopping we crossed the border yesterday so we're in New South Wales and like originally the plan when I retired from netball this year was just to, you know, probably retire from everything. And um, I came back to Collingwood and put on the footy boots and had a run around. I was like, I love this sport. I'm not ready to give it up. So um, we we're originally going for the year, but we've cut it down to six months so I can make it back for preseason. Um, it's my first footy preseason in a long time. So I'm a little bit nervous and first <laughs> off season. So not sure what condition I'm going to be in getting back. Yeah. So <laughs> I guess. Should be okay. You said um you said first off season in five years. Would that mean that kind of in this time usually you'd be straight into it with netball? Yeah, so this time I'd be um, prepping myself to play for Australia um, in the quad series. So that would be against England, New Zealand, um, and South Africa. So yeah, I've been lucky um, when the seasons changed the last couple of years. We the my leagues didn't cross, but previously I was doing a netball preseason while I was playing. Um, a full AFLW season and, and netball didn't like that I was playing footy so they made sure like I didn't miss any netball um, so I was super fit but I was probably more netball fit than I was footy fit so yeah, um, yeah I'm exciting to see if my, my body changes coming um, into a full pre-season of football. Yeah I guess it is a very um, different type of fitness hey very different games so. I wouldn't know I kind of just play netball on the footy field <laughs> I don't understand the whole running up and down I stay in my little area. At least <laughs> so you're able to do that convert those skills over hey yeah I'm lucky I can kick a footy but (laughs) I still can by the end of this (laughs) do you reckon a lot of your um defense skills from netball kind of are able to transfer easily into footy as well yeah definitely like I'm a natural defender um so um just I think I've always had that like one-on-one instinct trying to take a player out of the game um but yeah still definitely learning um I guess different sides of footy understanding how I can allow my player to to have more run on me and know my reference because the ball travels so much slower than a netball does. So just being able to pick and choose different moments and not completely taking myself out of the game because I'm in a lockdown mode. So, yeah, um, being able to change that up a bit has been um, exciting because it's something new, I guess, I've been able to learn because coming through netball, you, like I started at the elite level at 18 and you don't learn too much like you you got I guess you sharpen up your skills but there's not much too much to learn so crossing codes it's yeah been like things thrown at me left right and center it took me a a little while to understand even what like the skinny side was and the fat side so just things like that um but yeah it's been it's been good that's awesome it's a whole new um whole new ball game literally so Um, so we know you obviously bring a wealth of knowledge being a cross code athlete um, with obviously a big leadership history as, as well. Um, are there any big kind of lessons that you've learned along the way that you kind of will take with you into um, the upcoming season? 
Yeah, the biggest thing like I've learned is, um, and like it's it's no secret, is just like be who you are, and and I think it's very hard to, like to come into an environment and and you know try to be that elite athlete, what everyone thinks is an elite athlete, and and do all these things because you lose yourself in it. And one thing I've learned over my career is the more I'm myself, then the better at one I perform, um, and two, then I'm able to bring people in with me, and it's just being genuine and. Um, when I was with Fever, I was 23 when I was named captain. And back then I thought my my leadership was so I was, everyone has to be like me. And I tried to like be super serious. And looking back now, I wish I kind of had that maturity to go, no, like what a boring team will be if everyone's like me. And um, I've had some amazing captains along the way who have just, yeah, been able to teach me that just, yeah, be who you are, be you. And, um, and that's why you get in these positions. So hopefully... My personality suits Freo, um, but yeah, I'm so excited to get over there and, and just meet the team and see what everyone's like. Speaking of um, meeting the team, do you um, know anyone already or are there anyone, is there anyone in particular that you're looking forward to playing alongside? Yeah, well, I know Epps, so um, super excited to get um, along with her. I've never played with um, Epps before, but I've played with Juddy, so um, that's how I got to know Epps a little bit. But, yeah, I'm really excited to play um, with Turbo rather than against her. And I just love watching, um, to be honest, any midfielder be able to get the ball. But the way she not just attacks, but the way she defends, um, you know, I think my style is to avoid um, physicality and dodge around players as much as possible. But the way she just puts her head down and, and goes through players, like she's a player I definitely want to learn off. Awesome. That sounds amazing, Well. Um, much to come with that as well. Uh, so I guess as well, uh, moving to Perth, what kind of led you guys to making this decision? Obviously, you were quite comfortable at Collingwood. So um, heading over, were there any motivators for this? Or Yeah, like Collingwood is somewhere that, um, yeah, just embraced me, embraced my family. They allowed me to play two of my sports that I love. And um, so, yeah, like it's – it was nothing to do with the club. It was just, in the end, a big family decision. Um, Brooke and I moved over to Melbourne thinking it would be a two-year stint um, and would come back just to be with family. And we were there for seven years. Um, we've come back with two kids. And um, you WA people don't understand what COVID was like. Us <laughs> Melbourne people got stuck here. And um, Louis spent his whole first year um, inside our house. And then the second year, um, he did 13 weeks of quarantine in a row, hotel quarantine in a row because of me traveling. And for us, that was a big um, decider of um, we weren't sure how long it would be until we got to see family again. And um, yeah, we never want to be stuck in that situation again. So if we are, we want to be stuck in the same state as them. And um, that was our biggest reason of moving. And um, we're lucky enough that stars aligned and um, footy has also followed me across um, the borders as well. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Um, you've obviously, you touched on a bit about netball earlier um, and obviously you recently announced your retirement from the game. Um, this kind of gives you more of an opportunity to focus on footy. Uh, what kind of made you come to this decision with, you know, being footy focused over and giving up netball where you kind of started? Yeah, so netball for me has always been like my main sport um, and footy's just been like kind of on the side and um, if there was a pre-season that I would 100% do, it would be netball. Just my body works better with netball. And, um, you know, as a five-year-old kid, my goal was to, to um, play in a Com Games gold medal match. And um, that came true last year and we were able to pick up gold. And then this year we won a World Cup. So um, I had time to reflect. Well, previous, after the Com Games gold medal, I, my, my goal had kind of been reached to netball. And um, I thought it was going to be it then, but then following – that year was the World Cup and I thought like why not just have one more year announce my retirement early so if I was to get injured not make diamonds like everyone knew it was it was it um and so yeah like that was it for me um 15 years of like the top level I think yeah when you know you know you know you know and all these young kids coming through like it's only fair to give them that bib now and I've done everything I can to be the best athlete I can in netball but I guess I really haven't given myself that opportunity in footy. I've never done a, a I've never done a preseason with footy. So um, yeah, I'm excited to see what I'm like as a footballer. And you know, when people have always asked me like, "Oh, what sports do you play?" Like netball's instantly that first one that comes out because I've done it for so long. 
and I, I guess I've put my whole body into it. But so I'm excited to just yeah ever get asked that question like what sports play? I like to say footy, doing a preseason, playing a season. Um, so yeah, no, I'm super excited to be able to get yeah, give 100 percent of me into one sport. Amazing, yeah, seeing that kind of whole season through from start to finish. Yeah, fingers crossed the body holds up, but no, nah, <laughs> definitely. Um, yeah, and I can't wait. Like, it's, and I think that'll be the biggest difference. Like, we love we love Melbourne, but the weather is terrible, and to be able to just be in the heat, and um, yeah, we're we're moving down to um, Mandurah, so just to be near the water and be around um, family yeah, for us is yeah everything we've ever wanted. Oh, that's awesome. Well, um, thank you so much for chatting with me and welcome to Fredo. Everyone's super excited to meet you and, and have you on board. Hey, thank you. Hopefully I suit purple. <laughs>